addiction. Just the mention of the word brings to mind things like dependency, compulsion, obsession, and the different things that people get addicted to like drugs, and sex, and gambling, and alcohol. But, have you ever thought about the idea of being addicted to Jesus? Well, we'll talk about it next, coming up on Walk Points. This is Walk Points, and I am Reverend Michael Jakes. And on today's program, we will be talking about addiction. And we bring you these programs because we believe that there are biblical principles that are placed here by the Lord Himself that will help you in your daily walk with the Lord. Now, addiction is usually thought about in a negative connotation. You know, people get addicted to many different things. But the word itself does appear once in the Bible. You'll find it in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15. And it says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is in the first roots of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. It says that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. They were addicted. Which simply means, in this context, that they were devoted. They were devoted to the things of the Lord. They were devoted to the ministry of the saints. And it's all because they were first addicted or devoted to Jesus. And being devoted to Jesus, it will necessarily follow that we will become addicted to to those things that pertain to Him. And so, on today's program, we want to talk about the different things that we need to be addicted to as we walk with the Lord and as we are devoted to Jesus. Coming from this verse uh, number 15. Well, first of all, if I'm addicted, if I'm devoted to Jesus, number one, I am going to be addicted to prayer. And by being addicted to prayer, that means that as it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, that I'm going to pray without ceasing. I'm never going to stop praying. I'm always going to be in an attitude of prayer. I need to always constantly, the Bible says uh, that I need to pray at all times. At all times. So I need to get and become addicted to prayer. It means that I will bring everything to Him. It means that I will cast all my cares upon Him when I become addicted to prayer. It means that no matter what happens, I will make my request known unto God. And so being addicted to prayer is a necessity if I'm going to walk with the Lord and as I am walking with the Lord. Second point is this. If I am devoted to Jesus, that I'm going to be addicted to praise. I'm going to be addicted to praise. The Bible says in Psalm 34.1 that His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Being addicted to praise means that I'm going to praise Him no matter what happens. It means that I'm going to praise Him when I feel good. And it means that I'm going to praise Him when I feel bad. It means that I'm going to praise Him in spite of. It means I'm going to praise Him nevertheless. It means that no matter what God allows to come down my pathway, that I will praise Him. Why? Because I am devoted and addicted to Praise. Prayer and praise, it must become habitual. It must become something that just comes naturally when things begin to happen in my life. It just flows from me. And we must train ourselves in godliness, as the Bible says. I must train myself and discipline myself to pray and to lift up His name in every situation. A third point is this. 
if I'm going to be devoted to Jesus, then I need to become addicted to evangelism. Evangelism. And being addicted to evangelism means that I begin to have the heart of someone who sees the value of a soul. To know and understand that people need the Lord. To know and understand that without Jesus, an individual is lost. And I want to see them make heaven their home. As a Christian, I need to be addicted to evangelism. Evangelism. People need Jesus. People need Jesus. And without Jesus in your life, where would you be? Where would I be if I did not have Jesus in my life? So we need to be addicted to Jesus to the point where we know that without Jesus, an individual does not have any hope. What did Peter say? You have the words of eternal life. And so without Jesus, we have nothing. Without him, we can do nothing. I need to be addicted to evangelism. Next, as a Christian, being devoted to Jesus means that I'm going to be addicted to fellowship. To fellowship. In the book of Acts, uh, chapter 5 uh, and verse uh, number 42, it says very plainly, And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus. They cease not to preach and teach Jesus. Also, in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, it says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. They continued steadfastly. They were faithful. They were continuous in fellowship. Fellowship means that I want, I'm going to seek out I'm going to seek out the companionship of other Christians. That means that I want to be where those who are like-minded are. If I'm a Christian and you're a Christian and we're a Christian, we should enjoy fellowship with one another. And that fellowship sharpens me. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron and that two are better than one. And so... No man is an island unto himself. You can't do it by yourself. I know you think you can. And I know sometimes you think that you don't want to be bothered and you don't need anybody else. But we all need each other. And so fellowship, as I'm walking with the Lord, I need to become devoted and addicted to fellowship. Fellowship with the saints. I need you. You need me. As the song says, I need you to survive. Seek out fellowship. Seek out the fellowship of those who are like-minded. Finally, as I'm walking with Jesus, and I'm becoming increasingly devoted to Jesus, I need to become addicted to the Word of God. Scripture, Scripture, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. How shall a young man keep his way pure? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. It is the word of God which is going to strengthen me. It's the word of God that's going to hold me. It's the word of God that's going to build me up. It's the word of God that's going to enhance and enlighten and empower my Christian life. I need the word of God in my life more than anything. I need the word. In Psalm 119 and verse 97, it says, Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. All the day. 
Okay? His word. His word needs to be in me. I need to get this word in me. I need to be hopelessly devoted to the word of God. Hopelessly devoted. You can't take it away. One day, what will happen when, if they seize our Bibles and they seize scripture and what will happen if one day they make it impossible for us to have copies of the word of God either in paper form or in digital form what would happen that's a bad thing but if you have the word in your heart thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. I need to become increasingly devoted, increasingly addicted to the Word of God. Here's what happens if I don't if I don't become addicted to prayer, to praise, to evangelism, to fellowship, and to the Word. If I don't become addicted to the things of God, I am bound, I am on a course to become addicted to the things of the world. And the Bible says that if I have the love of the world in me, that the love of the Father is not there. So I need to increasingly become addicted to the things of God. Prayer. I need to make my request known unto God. Praise. I need to lift him up and praise him in every situation, in the good times and the bad. Evangelism. I need to know the value of a soul. I need to understand that. I need to ask the Lord to give me a burden for people that I know, that I don't know. People in my own world, I need to ask God to give me a burden for. The people that I come in contact with on a daily basis, Lord, give me a burden for them. Lord, let me become addicted to evangelism. Scripture is the Word of God that's going to keep me floating. It's the Word of God that's going to keep me grounded. Lord, give me an addiction. A tireless devotion for your word where I must open it up I must read your word Lord this is our prayer this is our prayer these are our walk points for today get addicted to prayer get addicted to praise get addicted to evangelism get addicted to scripture get addicted to fellowship get addicted this is Reverend Michael Jakes and my prayer is that you would get the point as you walk with Jesus. May God bless you.